The snake in the Garden of Eden was also Satan, which is like a, what the hell, it's a very strange idea. And, but the reason for that, as far as I can tell, is that, you know, we have this circuitry that detects predators, and a predator, a good representation of a predator is a snake, or a monster that incorporates snake-like features, like a dragon or something like that, or a dinosaur with lots of teeth, or a shark that lives under the water and will pull you down. You know, because I suspect a lot of our ancestors met a nasty death at the hands of Nile crocodiles while they were in the African veldt going down to get some nice water. So, you know, that's the thing that jumps up and pulls you under. And, you know, and that happens in your own life because things jump up and pull you under, you know. And you use the same circuitry. We use the same circuitry to process unknown things that upset us as we once used to detect predators who were likely to invade our space. And so... And, and human beings are capable of abstraction, and so, you know, you could think about the real predator that might invade your space, and maybe that's a snake or a wolf or, or some kind of monster.